Claire, you can't, you can't do the interview with the guinea pig. Why not? You have to put the guinea pig back. Really? Yep. Go put the guinea pig back. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Go put it back. Come on, little guy. Bye, Minerva. Here, she probably wants this. It's fun to think over the years the different things that High C has been known for. Um, I think what's always consistent is that it's just such a welcoming community. What I value most about what High C provides is the strong sense of community. I love everything about High C. <laughs> I think I love my students so much, obviously, but what really makes High C such a special place is the staff and the teachers here at High C. I talk to the students all the time because they truly can't believe that my coworkers are also some of my best friends. And so I think the staff and the community that we've built amongst the staff and the teachers here at High C is really what makes it such a special place. What I love about High C is the teachers and the faculty. They're really nice and they are there if you're like having a tough time. The thing that I value the most that High C has provided to my kids is since day one after moving from three cities and four schools, my fourth grader came out and when I asked him, how was your day? He looked at me with a smile and, mom, this is the best place ever. And since that day, every day he's coming home with fun stories and good things I've been learning. And also now my kindergarten is bringing me the joy from High C. So the theme, Kindness Travels, is a great one for this year specifically. Um, I think that, to me, Kindness Travels means that we are spreading not only kindness, but joy and positivity and love through our actions, um, through how we treat other people, through um, what we can do for our community. And so it really ties into Highland Catholic's overall values. I truly believe that positivity and kindness are contagious. We just don't have to look far in our society to see this negativity and this toxicity, and that can spread too. But when you think about kids and just the essential goodness, joy, and kindness that's in them, to have this campaign to unlock that and to spread it, that really can be contagious, and we can make society a better place by doing it. Um, I think the theme means to me that when you are kind to other people, they'll carry it on to other people and your kindness will just like travel all over. I could not think of a better theme for this school year after all the challenges of the pandemic where nothing has traveled anywhere. You didn't practically leave your house, you didn't leave your pod, and now we have this opportunity to sort of throw the doors back open, bust through the walls, and do acts of kindness that will just spread out into the the community and these kids are all about it. I spread kindness this year by uh, putting like get well signs in my art teacher's lawn. I've spread kindness by I remember one time uh, a little kid dropped her book like a couple books and I was like do you need help and she was like yeah so I helped her with her books and then I brought her back to her class. One thing I have done this year and here's one of my crazy ideas is I <laughs> went to Jane and I asked her if we could get guinea pigs uh, for the library. Um, the main reason I have guinea pigs in the library is I'm starting a program where the students can come down and actually read to them. So many studies have shown that reading to animals, there's no pressure, there's no judgment. Um, they can just read, their confidence goes through the roof. I've seen students this year who have never wanted to read out loud or never, at least in library, have never wanted to um, check out a book or maybe struggle with reading or like my own daughter who's dyslexic can come read to the guinea pigs and they're excited to do it. They like all want to do it <laughs> and there's only so much library time. Um, but that has been one of my little extra things this year. So every week we have Meditation Monday and now I even hear people talking about it. Oh, I can't wait for Meditation Monday. We start off always the same where we sit in our circle and we do some meditation, we have some intentions, we use the breathing ball, and then we do some yoga so we balance our, you know, our minds and our bodies. And recently I incorporated these balancing birds that we try to even balance while we do yoga and tap into that side. 
There's a bunch of little extra things that I think all teachers are throwing in this year to support our students after coming back after the last few wild years. I think the biggest one that we have here at Highland Catholic is our Super Friends program. So it's our program that we put in place across the whole school um, to work on being a school community and it's also like an anti-bullying program. So it's teaching students all of these different components of how to be an upstander, how to name and call out bullying, seeing it happening, knowing how to stand up for themselves, how to stand up for classmates, and how to kind of be a support as a student. And then as a staff, also training our staff to know how they can help handle those situations to try and work towards a more cohesive and healthy school environment. I'm a super friend because I did a lot of things. I care for people, I care for my friends. I'm a super friend because uh, I remember one time my friend was being like, was like really nervous for like a test that we had coming up and it was like really stressful and I was also kind of nervous but I put my feelings aside and I just cheered the other person up like I told jokes like she loves listening to like dad jokes so I always told her like dad jokes and stuff like that. So I've noticed there's been a lot more struggle with like social skills. I think that because of the isolation of the pandemic and being online the last two years, um, a lot of kids have just lost social skills. I think also the technology has a lot to do with that. So a lot of times when I meet with kids, we're talking about like how to communicate or how to resolve a conflict with a friend. So I feel like that has been one of the biggest things I've seen. And then some more struggles with emotional regulation. So having a hard time knowing what to do with big emotions. Since coming to Highland Catholic, we've really felt this deep commitment and dedication to the kids. It really does feel like everything is centered around them. And more than any one class, more than any one subject, that's really what matters to us and our family and we're so thankful for it. It's the integrity, it's the friendships, it's the arts, it's the teams, it's the sports, it's so much more. They learn their ABCs, so to speak, but, but really it is more the, the friendships that I know I developed here and that I know it, um, and I hope and I see my, my children going through and you know, my best friends from, from age four are still my best friends today and I hope that's the same uh, experience and I think that's what um, my children are experiencing here as well. What do I love about I see? Well, I truly love coming to school every single day. Um, I love the people I work with. I love the parents and the guardians. Um, every day, the highlight of my day is being at that front door where every little kiddo comes by me. Um, it's so it's just a very happy place to be and I do think we are helping kids realize their potential, um, grow their faith life. Um, yeah, I couldn't have a better job. I just really liked it here. It's going to be kind of different going to a, another school because it's been here like my whole life. So, but this, this school is like a fun place and a good place to learn. 